So Des, after 15 years at the helm, you've, you, you've made a big decision. Maybe tell us why. Well, the truth is, you see, people, it, is a, it has been a fantastic programme to work on. I've loved it. But over the last few years, I've got a bit frustrated. I only, the only match I go to is the All-Ireland Final. It's like my treat at the end of the year. So on the one hand, it's brilliant. I'm in studio, and the pictures are coming in from all the games, but they've all to be edited and cut. And just so 15 years for who, someone who's a bit of a fanatic about going to a game and enjoying the buzz and the crack around the game before and after. I'm so excited now to be able, I'm going back on the road and going to games again. One game a year isn't enough. And uh, so I'm now going to be fronting Sunday sport and I'll be at venues. So I'll be in Turles or Clonus or Galway or wherever. And I'm very excited about it. Back and I, from six o'clock, I'll be finished having the arguments about matches rather than waiting till midnight to finish. But after 15 years in the chair, uh, there must be a huge sense of pride that you were such an integral part of a programme that was an integral part of Irish sports people, Irish sports fans' lives every Sunday. Yeah, look, I was very lucky to be part of our team here in RT to be fronting the programme. And amongst, I, I'm very touched by the messages I got. And while I got lovely messages from the pundits, even the cranky ones said really nice messages. I was very touched and surprised. But the nicest, greatest pleasure I got from today was, and I've got a lot, was... Um, people who send messages whom I don't know, just viewers who said, since I was a kid, you were part of our Sunday nights, with all the family would all watch Sunday game together. And to feel you were part of that is a very nice legacy to have. So that, that's very pleasurable for me. As a dub, obviously, it'll come as a little surprise that the highlight was the, the six in a row. But over the 15 years, what, <laughs> what sort of memories will you take away from it, Des? Well, memories I take away... One of the reasons, uh, for instance, that I'd like to be finishing six is Dublin had all those great successes and the Kula lads were involved, Con and Mick Fitz, and so I'm part of the WhatsApp group and they're all in mulligans at six they're having the crack celebrate. And I never, I never was at one post Dublin all Ireland with the Kula lads. So if they could win one more, I'd love it. But probably the biggest memory I have is Loud Than Me than the Leinster final of 2010. It was sensational. The referee got attacked. A goal shouldn't have been given. Where Mead's going to offer a replay? Maybe they'll offer loud the replay on the Sunday game that night. But the World Cup final was on, and so we weren't coming on until after the World Cup final. And then the World Cup final went to extra time, and it was heading for midnight. It was after half eleven before we went on air, and I was so disappointed because I said we would have had such a huge audience for this and such a fascinating program. We ended up having near half a million viewers, even only starting at that time. It was just everybody wanted to see it and wanted to hear the reaction from me. Would they give a replay? Would they? So there are a lot of those. And, and then the other thing is the off-air banter between the pundits, between their counties. They, they, they'd be sensitive in their own way, and I'll miss that too. But I'll be back on the road and get lots more of that. The Sunday game will continue, no doubt, to be, as I mentioned, that, that integral part of the sports fans' uh, weekend viewing. And it, it, it is a huge aspect of, of that programme, that throughout the years, it is what the players, management yeah. and fans up and down the country talk about and, and what happens on a Sunday night between you and yeah. those pundits. The Sunday Game Night programme will continue to have a huge place in Irish sporting society because in many ways it sets the agenda from Monday, Tuesday as well, what, what is said post-match or what is said by the pundits. And it's a huge opportunity for one of my colleagues now who's going to go in there and for them it's going to be huge. I remember my excitement when they went in there the first time. So it's going to be great for them. I look forward to helping them. But I've no doubt with the production team that's there, it's a very strong, uh, young, enthusiastic production team that it will continue to set the agenda. Not only because you'll now be able to go to matches, yeah. You're well used to, to, to the weekend Saturday sports slot, but that's going to be different for you now as well. Yeah, well, Saturday and Sunday is going to be very busy. There's so many matches next year. People are forgetting there's around a 16, four groups of four in San Maguire, four groups of four in Tolshin Cup after the provincial championships. So it's going to be hectic, but I'm going to love it.